Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, I thought, let's try and find a really random, obscure location, one that you're probably never likely to come to. Uh, you might go past it occasionally, but anyway, so I'm up here. If you look on the map now, you'll see where I am. I'm at the very end of Third Road at the beginning of, uh, of uh, South Pattaya Road. And uh, when I spin the camera around in a second, you'll see exactly where I am. And what I want to do is I want to walk down back towards the city centre. Uh, there's a lot of hotels along here and people ask me about where's a good place to stay. Uh, this is actually a good area. I know it's a bit noisy right now, but I am still at the junction. Uh, but there's a lot of hotels which I'll show you. You're literally like five minutes from the city center in a, in a, a taxi, so you're really quite in a good position. You can get that way to Naklu, you can go that way to Sukhumvit, you can go that way down in the city center, so you are in a good position. So let's have a wander around, let's see what's going on today. I'll tell you what, it's hot. And uh, if you saw my news yesterday, if I was one of the boys in brown, apparently I could just down tools and uh, go and sit down because it's too hot. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about if you watch that video. Right, okay, so let's go, let's see where we are and let me give you a bit of a bearing so you know where we're starting from. So, this busy junction here, uh, right the way across here, this is, uh, let me just go around the corner, it's bright today, I'll tell you what, look at that. Woo. Now, if you head down there, that will take you all the way down to uh, Sugarbit Road. And you can't walk that. Well, you could walk it, but I'll tell you what, it's a distance. If you go over there, that road takes you into Naklua. And if you go down this way, right the way down there, in the far distance. Now, look at that building in the, in the middle here. Look at that building. I am going to get myself up there. It's going to be a space venue. Watch this space, literally. Uh, but that takes you down to Dolphin Roundabout, to Naklua. Uh, this is North Potato Road, what we're on now. This is North Potato Road. And we're going to go down here, Third Road, and head down towards the city. Uh, I won't be able to walk it. It's too far, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, there is one place I really want to show you later on. And uh, let's just check my mic. That's all right. My mic fell off. Uh, yeah, I want to show you this place because uh, it's decent. And it goes against everything that people are saying right now in terms of the city being busy. All will be revealed when I get down there. So, we're heading now into the city centre. Uh, this is a big, big, long road. And if, you know, if you've not been to Pattaya before, uh, incidentally, look at this. Oh, look at these. Gwit Diang Mu, Dom Yam, oh, Dom Yang Gung. Some lovely dishes there. Oh, making me hungry. Um, yeah, so if you haven't been to Pattaya before, it's a very easy city to navigate. There's literally a, a cross network of six roads mainly. North Pattaya, Central, South Pattaya, Beach Road, Second Road, and Third Road. And uh, talking of hotels, there you go. There's the Mantra uh, Pura. And you've got Mike Garden here. And this hotel is called the Conix. In there, that's called the Conix Hotel. <coughs> Incidentally, guys, if you have stayed in any of these hotels, uh, please let me know. Drop a comment and uh, let's see. Somebody cup. He's got to be hot in there. He's got his full-on bank robbing outfit on. Got to be hot. And if you look down there, there you go. Look, some more hotels all the way down there. Do you know what? I've never ever been down that road, so I'm going to get my bike and we'll have a wander around later on. But not today. Oh wait, look at that guy. Go on, son, give it some. Now that's my kind of transport. <laughs> Brilliant. Doesn't even need to push. Uh, so where were we? Uh, I'll tell you where we were, we were walking down this road. Now, there are a few restaurants up this end, and there is the best Western hotel here, which you'll see in a second. So if you are into the, into the Western hotel chain, this is where you will be staying. And across the road there, a few more restaurants. Sadly, I've got to say sadly, quite a few of these restaurants have bit the dust. And you know, no one ever likes to see that. It's not nice. And I'm going to show you a new development that's coming along very quickly, very nicely. And I have to say, I'm in awe of how these guys do these buildings. If you are one of these architects that put this together and uh, you can build these kind of structures, you have my utmost respect. And a quick tip for you, when you go past these Thai restaurants, if they're busy, it means their food is good. I'm talking of food, look, here's all the Lion Man boys on their phones waiting for it to go, ding, you've got an order. There you look, one, two, three, four. And uh, if you're not sure about the Lion Man app, uh, you can download it 
and basically you can order food and these guys will bring it for you. After you boss. And there is the Best Western Plus. Look at that, that's a nice old hotel. Who stayed in these? Very nice. And there's the line man guys here. Look. He's getting ready and they're all tapping their apps, ready for the order to come through. And uh, what you do is you go on there, you can order your food. These guys go to the restaurant, they pick it up and they'll deliver it to you. Nice and easy, nice and quick, not expensive. And uh, definitely a convenience, especially right now because we've got a bit of rain, even though today's beautiful. Now then, once Patea. Look at these. I am absolutely in awe of people that put this together. I mean, where in the goodness of me's world do you start with that? I mean, I really, honestly, it's one thing having it on a bit of paper. It's one thing having it drawn down and saying, yeah, look at that, that looks good. But to put it together, I'll show you a different angle in a minute, but to put it together and actually build it, holy jamoli, that is something special. And there you go, there's another angle. I mean, look at it, unbelievable. Mind blowing, to be honest with you. Lego was my best. I tried Meccano, but it was a little bit too technical, but Lego, there you go, look. Own your world, you only live once, Patea. I like that, you only live once. Wasn't that a, I um, oh no, live and let die, wasn't it? That was James Bond. Who likes a bit of James Bond? Who watches the old James Bond? In fact, let's have a question. Who, in your opinion, was the best James Bond actor? Now, there's a question for you. Who, in your opinion, good morning, Saudi Cup. Uh, who, in your opinion, was the best James Bond actor? I think it's got to be Sean Connery, isn't it, really? He's iconic. But you might disagree, that's cool, no dramas. Who do you reckon? I'll tell you what I didn't like. Um, what's that guy with the blonde hair? Um, oh, recent guy. Um, oh, his, uh, his name comes to me now. And look at these, look, look. Well, there's a bonus, he's actually got a harness. <sighs> look, 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 look at this. Go on, son, up you go. Go on, <laughs> here you go, look. You want to put that music on here? Dun, 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 All right, I'll get me coat, sorry. Yeah, look, they're all having a go. And there's that building again, look at it. Come on, you got to admit, that is just so clever. That is so clever. And uh, that is not so clever. <laughs> But anyway, oh, come on, what's the guy's name? I can't think of his name now. Um, oh, God, yeah. Younger lad, fairly recent. And the trouble is I can't Google it to cheat because I've got my phone out. Not my phone out, so I've got my uh, camera in my hand. Oh, what's his name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Moving on. Who, in your opinion, best James Bond actor to hit the, hit the uh, movie scene? And, uh, we're, we're heading down to where I want to get to in a bit. Not too far away. And these places here, amazing what you can buy in there. And the old uh, aerosol cans in that corner, see them there? Reminds me of my days when I was spray painting. And uh, I used to do the old artscape. Who's ever seen the old spray painting artscape? I used to work WOMAD, Glastonbury, Four Seasons. And uh, Anne, if you're watching, God bless you. And John, may you rest in peace. What an amazing man he was. He was the foreman of uh, Four Seasons. Absolute top gaffer. Sadly passed away, and uh, they become very, very good friends of mine. But anyway, uh, diversifying there. But yeah, the old spray, spray art was, was really busy in this day. I even had a pitch at Camden Town. I used to go up there on a Saturday and Sunday and uh, knock out a few paintings. Went down to Swanage. Used to work on the beach down there at Swanage during their Swanage week, they had a festival. And it's got absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with what we're doing right now. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, right, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, I want to get down here. I want to show you this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've had a chesty cough now for about, oh, good couple of weeks. And no, I haven't got what you're thinking I might have. I haven't got that. Um, but I have to say, you know, I'm getting on my nerves. So what do you come? Now over here, if you go down there, that's the potato driving range down there. And uh, you go down there, practice your driving. Let's have a look over there in a minute. And if you are into a game of golf, have a go with Ian. Put him through his paces. He's a single figure handicapper. He is actually good to be fair. 
I don't like giving him any praise, but, he, but he, I'm only joking. But now he is good. He's very good. Single figures. And there you go. Look down there. Let's have a little wander down. Honestly, these driving ranges, I love them because you can smash the hell out of the ball. And for me, it doesn't matter where it ends. It's all about distance. Then you get on the golf course and you're like, oh, can't be doing that. So here you go. Have a look. Hey, that's another question. If you are a golfer, what's your handicap? Let's see, let's see who's got the best hand. And don't, don't give it Billy Big Spuds if you're not. My handicap's at the golf club. What's to buy a fan there? Look here, look. Go on, guys, give it some. I could probably get close to the end of that net at the far end. I can hit a ball a mile. I've just got absolutely no idea where it's going. And uh, I think this truck is in need of a bit of TLC, don't you? <laughs> look at that. Now, if you were in your home country, would you get, <laughs> this would be condemned. I can't believe it's even still operating, flipping out. Brilliant. So there you go, that's the potato driving range. So come up here, and uh, if you want to practice, and I'll say, get Ian on, get, give him a game. He's decent, he's a single figure handicapper. Don't ask me to play, it's an easy answer, it's a no. And uh, when I play the first shot, you'd see why. But yeah, so let's have another competition, uh, not competition, sorry, let's have another question. Those of you on here that play golf, what do you play off? What's your handicap? What's your number? Uh, there was another famous statement, wasn't there? Um, I'm not a number, I'm a free man. That was in an Iron Maiden song, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm not a number, oh, I think it was Number of the Beast. I don't know. Right. Now, where am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hot today. Can I have a little sit down? <laughs> Please. Uh, over there, what's ale? I'm guessing that must be a bar. Some description. Happiness. So is there happiness for your craft beer? Okay. Uh, motorcycle, motorbike service station. I did a question the other day. I said to you, what do you have? what's the average charge? for a service nowadays, my lord. Some of the prices you guys were quoting. Off the radar, off the radar. And uh, gobsmacked to be honest. And do you know what, right? Oh, I don't really want to admit this, but I forgot where I parked my bike. I think it was halfway, I, I wanted to pick halfway down because I knew when I was walking, I'd get close. Oh, oh well. I'll have to have a look in a bit. Won't be the first bike I've lost, as you know. I'm sure of it. Oh, well, maybe I've walked past it. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, not to worry. Not to worry. Um, yeah, some of the costs of the, uh, of the um, servicing. Oh, Jesus. Arm and a leg job. Really was. And uh, over there... There you go, there's a club fitting studio, a pings, so if you need your clubs fitting to improve your swing and all the rest of it, very technical golf, uh, that's where you need to go. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Now, the other day, uh, as you know, my wife came down, uh, it was her birthday, and we went off and did, uh, we went to the, um, what was it called now, the Jungle Moon Homestay. And uh, no, I didn't get paid to say it and all that rubbish. I just generally went there. It was a beautiful place. I'm going to go back and do a video. But anyway, the night before she went back home, we came here. Now, this place holds in the region of about three to 400 people. And when we came here, it was absolutely rammed. And I'll show you where I had to sit. I had to sit over there in the corner. That was the only space that was available. But this place was absolutely rammed you couldn't get a seat. And here's the interesting thing about it. It was coach load after coach load after coach load of Chinese tourists. They even had flags in here where they would walk in and they would hold a flag up and the, uh, the diners would all get on the big coaches that were parked here, just in this car park. So literally, these huge coaches would come in one at a time and they would literally drop all the people off. They would come in there with the flag and uh, eat their mukta. And uh, mukta is lovely. This is called the Ninja Pattaya Third Road. It's the Ninja Barbecue Buffet. 
I have to say, even though it was rammed, the food in there is really good quality. And I think that's as a result of the fact that they bring the Chinese in in their, in their uh, bus loads. And uh, has to be good quality, otherwise they won't come back. So you do benefit when you piggyback off of them. I have to say now, uh, that's a Shabu down there, Shabu restaurant. And uh, I'm not sure what that is in the distance. Do you know what? I don't actually think I've ever been around here. I need to get my old bike out there. <laughs> I've got to go and find it first. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I need to jump on my bike. We can have a look around here. In fact, I think that'll be a video we'll do in the not too distant future. Let's have a wander around, ride around. And like I say, I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue what's down these, these side roads. I've not been down them. Uh, now, what's this one over here? Let's have a look at this. Oh, hello. I better stay here for a minute, sit these uh, guys past. Oh, it is warm today. And anyway, let's talk about the temperature. I got so many messages from you lot. Yeah, I would come to Thailand, mate, but England's hotter. What's your weather like now, guys? What's it like now? Are you still hotter? Or was it literally a flash in the pan? And uh, here you go, you've got the show black. Uh, is that multi? I don't, I honestly don't know. I really don't know. See, you're teaching me things here, guys. There's an ICP art center over there. Show black, I wonder what that is. And uh, again, more rows to explore. Let, we're, I'm gonna do it, I'll tell you what, we're gonna do this because it intrigues me. All right, well, let's walk up, let's walk up towards my bike somewhere. I've got no idea where it is. Oh, there you go, look at the old statue there. Ah, I wonder if it's one of those, um, uh, what do you call it, gladiator style shows. They used to be busy over in, uh, over in Spain, didn't you? I remember when we went to Spain, you used to get a coach and take you off to watch this gladiator style fight. It was, I know it was a gimmick, but it was still good fun. There you go, look, and if you're feeling hungry, all this lovely food here. Good morning, somebody cup. There you go, freshly cooking. Mulbing. That's guy, that's chicken, that's chicken. Oh, that looks nice. Funny cup. Okay, so there you go, across the road there. That's that ninja place. Like I say, absolutely rammed. Could not get a seat, it was carnage. I will hasten to add that uh, it's not like that every single day. So don't worry, if you do want to come up for a decent feed, come up here, third road, Pattaya third road, ninja, and uh, get a motorbike taxi. If you've got a bulk car taxi from the city centre to here, got to be 50 baht, I suppose. Won't be much more than that if it is. Uh, but good food, good food. But it's not rammed every night. It just so happened that uh, I went on a Sunday and it was rammed. There you go, health and safety executives, knock yourself out. Is that okay? <laughs> and look at the pathway, look. You know, I love this country, I love it to bits. But there are certain parts of it that still, I still giggle at myself because I still refer it back to the UK and think, man, all that health and safety will be bounced off the ceiling now, looking at that. And there's the golf place here. I don't know what deals they got on, I don't know. Awesome golf days. May the 1st of July the 31st, 2021. <laughs> Sorry lads, we've missed that one. Might be an idea to update the front of your uh, shop. Right, where's my bike? I can't believe it. It's got to be up here, because I, I remember parking it near the Ninja, and I thought, well, I'll walk halfway. There you go, coffees, K Coffee Espresso. Unfortunately, it's no more. It is no more. We've got an abundance of coffee shops here. I have to admit, I think to myself, you know, when you look at around the city, and people say, oh, there's too many bars, too many bars. Guys, have a look at how many coffee shops there are. Unbelievable. They're literally, oh, here's that what sale. Let's have a look at what sale. I'm more intrigued as where my bloody bike is. I parked it near a white car. And yes, I know that sounds stupid. Here you go. You can't buy happiness. You can't buy happiness that you can buy beer. And that's kind of the same thing. Happy days, nice one. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm talking about buying. I don't want to be buying myself another bike. 
Oh man. It's got to be up here in it. it, has to be. Right, where were we? Uh, oh yeah. That's the driving range we went in there. Who fancies it? Come on. Who's up for a game with Ian? I think he plays off a four, I think. He used to play off a one, uh, but I think he's now for four. He hasn't played so much recently. So uh, get yourself, uh, get your clubs over, guys. Maybe we should have a buzzing golf competition. That'd be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? We'd put an entrance money in, go off and play your golf. I'll come and video it. That'd be a bit of a laugh. I'll come and do the video, and then uh, we could do a golf competition. I quite like the sound of that idea. Hey, I've only gone and found it. Look, happy days. There it is. Whew. I was getting a bit worried. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Right, let me find some uh, shade because I'm absolutely sweltering here. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go over to the clinic that's not a clinic anymore and we'll wrap up over there. Right. All right. Man, it's hot. It's hot, hot, hot today. Okay. Uh, where's the light? That's better. Whew. Right. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I am going to get on the bike and I'm going to have a wander around some of these random soys because uh, they look quite interesting. I've never been around any of them, so I've got no idea where they're going to take me, what we're going to find. But there's only one way to find out, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so there we are for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, check out Discord, completely free of charge. There's uh, 16,700 people in there now. Go take a look, guys. It really is great fun. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I do here, there is a link in the description below. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.